is Perry Major's A01 Henry V Mounted and Command. This is a great addition to your late Hundred Years War Agincourt English Army uh, as it has Henry V mounted and a couple other lords that are included in this kit. So it's a blister. There's not a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Here are the contents of the blister. You have Henry V and his mount. You have his herald on steed. You have his shield bearer. This is the Lord Kamoy. Uh, this is Edward, Duke of York, and this is Sir Thomas Erpingham. Now I'm going to bring up all these figures so we can see uh, the detail up close. So again, uh, Perry's medal. Very well detailed as always. Here's a closer look at King Henry. Just got to strain out his sword a little bit. And then, uh, as you can see, beautifully detailed uh, figure. Plate and uh, chain mail, as well as his crown on the helmet and an orle. So, very beautiful figure. Next up is Edward, Duke of York. I'm gonna bring this up. Again, full plate with some chain. He's ha he has an orle on his helmet. Beautifully detailed. All right. Here is Lord Kamoy. He commanded one of the wings of the English army during Agincourt. He does have a war hammer right there. Also wearing plate with a doublet over. I believe it's a doublet. And again, the Orlay, which was ubiquitous for the English nobility. Knights. Right. Next up is Sir Thomas Erpingham. In full plate. It's a baton, just like Edward, Duke of York. Sword sheathed. Looks like a hammer or a mace at his side. Again, very well detailed. And it seems that all these guys have orlays on their helmets. Right. Lastly, you have Henry's shield bearer and his herald. So we'll start with the herald first. And beautifully detailed figure. Nice heft to the model because of the weight. Flowing robes and cape, as well as a, his hat. The horse looks nice. Basically what you come to expect from Perry. All right, and then Henry's shield bearer. Wonderful, wonderfully detailed shield with the design on the shield of the French fleur-de-lis and the English lion. That'll be easy to paint. detailed figure all right um, so this will be a great set to add command to your English army for hundred years war um, as in course specifically figures are beautifully detailed and as with all Perry miniatures the sculpts are superb so that's it if you like this video go ahead and click like if you haven't subscribed to the channel I appreciate it if you would Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That's the best way I can personally interact with you and chit-chat you about 100 Years War, uh, Hail Caesar, and all that fun stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos from Wargaming Noob Historical.